parents. I'm thinking about your parents as you're speaking. How would you describe them? Well, let's say you you can be raised in a home with both parents mm-hmm. and a parent still be absent. So um, he was around because he his his uh, lifestyle. He was a hustler. He was always on the streets, and so him popping up would be any any given time. Mm. I had him around me from I probably would say from I was a little I was born newborn until about I would say seven years old. Right? Yeah, seven years old when my mother had to actually leave the environment because he almost killed her. So oh. she had to take custody of us. So I, from from birth to the age of seven, I had him actually in my life, coming into the house, being somewhat apart. But he was he was a good cook. He mm-hmm. was an awesome cook. He can cook anything and turn it into gourmet. Like oh, he wow. was awesome. He taught my mother how to cook. Um, he was he was the one that was the <laughs> he was the fun fun person to be around he was the light of the moment he was the one that got everyone laughing and enjoying themselves and in that same breath he was also that scary person that can just switch and turn it off my mother she was 18 when she had me Mm -hmm. so he's about he could be about six years older than my mom and so she had me at 18 and she looks like 18 even when she had her fourth child so her walking with four children at the time living with this man they looked at them as like the most amazing couple she was quiet well put together Uh, my mother is the last child and the only girl for her mom wow and so the dynamics of how you know she is as a person and him being the eldest of his family of 18 wow okay 18 brothers and sisters is a totally different, and they're they're both Jamaican. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me just let me just gloss over that. That's <laughs> you're coming yeah, from a family of, of nine. Your dad had yeah. fourteen others, and what? Yeah, fourteen. And I was told, and I was told that eighteen is probably not even the correct number. It's probably more. Wow. Yeah. I can't even imagine. What do you live in? Like, what what impact? I mean, I'm thinking you as a young girl growing up and, you know, the dynamics of your parents as you described it. What impact did they have on you? I'm trying to figure out if if you got some of the the great parts of your parents and what were those parts? Oh, <laughs> I did. I got, the, I, I got the best part of what they did not utilize. Mm. I got the parts of them where they didn't trust the parts of them that they feared to show up in life. Mm -hmm. My mother was a go-getter. Anything that she puts her hands on, she can manifest into a masterpiece. But the problem with her was that she never finished what she started. Mm -hmm. My father, I only know him to be very intelligent. My mother, she lacked, she was, she had a disability with, reading and writing Mm -hmm. um by the time i was born i she couldn't help me in school Mm -hmm. so i had to teach myself how to read and write and so my father he was more educated but he was never around Mm -hmm. um i don't know what he was good at because he never he he was good at cooking but i don't know how much more he was good at right which i i know for sure that i probably have his intellect because females have their father's intellect Mm -hmm. and the boys have their mother's um, when it comes to when I show up in the world, I know it's more so of my father than it is my mom. Mm. Um, but when I when I have to face my insecurities in a sense that I feel that I'm, I'm less than and I'm not enough, I know that's coming from my mother. Mm. Having to be a mother at such a young age, having to fight for herself, having to go through so much trauma and never speak of it. 